Hello students. In this next uh, series of videos, we're going to show you how to find the area of two-dimensional shapes. Now, before we do that, um, occasionally we have to convert square units. For example, we have to convert square centimeters into square millimeters, or it might be square meters into square kilometers. So there's actually quite a nice, easy way to do this. So I'll show you what my preferred way of, uh, of doing these conversions. These are called area conversions. So down here we have um, a square, one centimeter by one centimeter. So that fairly obviously has an area of one square centimeter. Now what we've done here is we've divided that centimeter into 10 millimeters. We've divided that centimeter length into 10 millimeters. And that means you're going to have 10 by 10 or 100 square millimeters. So the answer, the question is, what's the easiest way to convert from square centimeters to square millimeters? Well, here's the way that I prefer to do it. I like to think like this. I think, okay, one centimeter squared. Well, one centimeter is 10 millimeters. That's converting that length to that length. So I have to multiply by 10. So one multiplied by 10. And then I have to convert the width of one centimeter into 10 millimeters. So I multiply by 10 a second time. And I'm reminded of that because I've got a two there. So if it's centimeters squared, I've got to multiply by the conversion. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. One centimeter is 10 millimeters, and 10 times 10 is 100. And the units, of course, are square millimeters. And that's the answer just there. So students want to think, because they see centimeters and millimeters, they want to think it's 10. But because these are square centimeters and square millimeters, the diagram shows you, in fact, that it has to be 100. And this is the easiest way to calculate that. Okay, let's try an, a similar question. Okay, I want to convert square meters into square centimeters. But once again, I've got this diagram and I can say, well, one meter squared, let's convert the length first. One meter on that side is 100 centimeters. That's on the, that's on the length. Now I convert the width. That's the length of one meter, which is the same as 100 centimeters. And therefore, 100 times 100, I get four zeros. I get 10,000 centimeters squared. So there's the answer to that question. So once again, because I've got a 2 here, I basically have to say, well, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Again, 1 centimeter is 100 centimeters. That one's for the length. That one's for the width. Length times width gives us area, and I get 10,000 square centimeters. Again, students want to think there's meters, there's centimeters. They want to write 100 in there. That's true if it's just meters and centimeters. But because we're looking at the area, it's square centimeters and square meters. OK, I want you to try this one on your own, please, using the same idea. There's one square kilometer. One kilometer is 1,000 meters in length and 1,000 meters in width. Go ahead and try to work out, please. Stop the video. Try to work out how many square meters is equivalent to one square kilometer. OK, let's see how we went. So one kilometer squared. I'm going to convert one kilometer there into a thousand meters. I'm going to convert a kilometer for the width into a thousand meters. And therefore, I've got a one followed by six zeros. And the units, of course, are meters squared. And there's my answer one kilometer squared is the same as 1 million square meters. OK, now hectares. Well, hecto as a prefix means 100. So hectares is just a special unit of area which measures 100 meters by 100 meters. So therefore, one hectare 
is 100 meters by 100 meters. That gives us a one followed by four zeros. And that fact is probably just worth learning that a hectare is the same as 10,000 square meters or 10,000 square meters is the same as one hectare. So that's, that fact I would just go ahead and learn. It's easier to do that than to try to figure it out because you might not remember that a hectare is 100 by 100, in which case you're sort of stuck. One hectare equals 10,000 square meters. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do two of these and then I want you to try the other two. So I'm converting three square centimeters into square millimeters. So first I write down the three. Now I'm going from big units to small units. So therefore I need a bigger number. So I have to multiply and one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So I multiply by 10, but because it's an area, I have to do it twice. Three times 10 is 30 times 10 is 300. So multiply by 10, multiply by 10. What if I was going backwards from square millimeters back to square centimeters? Well, again, I start with the 70. Now this time I'm going from small units to big units, and therefore I'm gonna end up with fewer big units because I'm dividing the same length into larger pieces. Therefore, I'm gonna have a fewer number of those. There's 10 millimeters in one centimeter, so I need to divide by 10. But because we're working with area, I have to divide by 10 twice. So that means my decimal point is after the 70. I've got to move it back once, twice, to divide by 10 twice. And I end up with 0. 70 centimeters squared. So to convert square millimeters to square centimeters, divide by 10, divide by 10, and there's your answer, 0 0.7 or 0 0.70. Okay, have a go with the last one if you haven't done so. Now, just a reminder, there are 10,000 square meters in a hectare. So we have to do this one slightly differently to the others. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at it. So first I'll write down the number I'm starting with, which is 900. Now I'm going from small units to big units. Therefore I have to divide because it's gonna be fewer hectares than there are square meters for the same size plot of land. And because I've memorized that there's 10,000 square meters in one hectare, I divide by 10,000. So my decimal point has to move back one, two, three, four places. And therefore I'm gonna end up with, when I'm done with zero point, let me double check, one, two, three, four, yep, 0 0.09 hectares. So 900 square meters is the same as nine hundredths of a hectare. So if you, just remember the fact that when you're converting areas, you've got to use the conversion factor twice, either multiplying or dividing. These questions become uh, quite easy. Okay, we'll leave it at that. And in the next video, move on to actually finding the area of some common shapes.